Hey there everyone, uh, welcome back to Doko's Reviews and uh, today I'm making this video for those that are having problems to download the Gernelli second mod of the F-22 Raptor for your flight simulator. Now this mod works on both Steam Edition and Eagle Dynamic Edition. And what's cool about this mod is that he implemented some new uh, um, stuff on the cockpit, which was just brilliant and amazing. You know, you definitely got to give Grinelli props for this. But anyways, I'm going to show you uh, guys what I went through and how I learned to set it up properly. And what I mean by that is the actual file. So the website you want to go to is this. So just come down here. And I already got the webs website uh, up already. You can just Google it or just type in um fsoutlet.com slash f22 slash so right here as you can see there so you just gotta um copy that and download it um to your url and just uh once or just you know I'll, I'll put that under the link where you can download this and you know a lot of people just want to jump into it right they just want to jump in and start downloading the game and start playing it like the first one it was pretty easy when the grenade launches first a uh, uh, mod of the f-22 raptor about a year ago and it was just amazing you know that was easy to just put into your uh steam or ego dynamic file and just go from there right well what i recommend you to do is to go on uh his website right here uh, the flight sim outlet just go here and just read up on pretty much everything so you can understand um, what this second update is about and also it you know it adds a few things that makes it real even the starting up procedure like the sound man it is mind-blowing okay so that's something that that if you guys want to um, um, read up on this is one way to to go about that uh, the other thing is is I want to give a growling sidewinder uh, you know, we got to give him credit, man, for, for always posting up his videos and stuff and teaching us how to fly uh, a plane. And if it was like a real situation, we, we would actually learn from this guy, uh, um, Growling Sidewinder. And, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that, that do the same thing, but I find his more, more, uh, how, what's the proper word, more professional. Um, that's one way of saying more professional. And once again, we got to give Grinelli Design a lot of credit for doing the second mod so once you read up on all this stuff if you scroll down here you will see the pictures of of, of how uh a Grinelli came about the f-22 raptor and how it looks okay so basically is you know if you if, if if you just click on that you will see this is how it looks and it's just mind-blowing and I know as time goes, it's even going to get better, guys. And I, I actually, I truly know that for a fact. Okay. And here's another view of how the actual cockpit looks. And it's going to get better, guys. And um, some of these buttons you can touch, which is pretty cool. And that just makes it more, more better. I can't wait for the, for a full version to come out in a year or so, or whenever that will be available. But this is all the functionalities. Uh, he does, uh, um, with this instruction, he does answer some questions that people are having or having trouble with, especially for uh, downloading the mod. People are having trouble putting it into the proper file. But I'm going to show you here. Uh, we're just going to jump into it so I don't waste any of your guys' time um, how to go about that. And um, also, just before we do that, uh, if you click on this, you can also download the F-22 paint kit which will uh, uh, load by itself uh, once you jump into um, um, to the mission generator it, um, or, or editor. It'll definitely help you out on DCS World uh, Steam or Ego Dynamic version. So what you want to do, you want to scroll down. Uh, you want to, if you want the, the kit, the paint kit, download this first and then come here and just press that and hit download. Um, I'm not going to do that because I already downloaded it. Hit download, and then once you're done with that, uh, just just come back here. Let me show you here. So what you want to do, you want to come back here, and you want to go to your files. And guys, while you're in your file, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your C drive. Uh, most people will go to the directory of the file, which is usually the, the biggest file for Steam Library for to hold all your games. They would go Steam Library, Steam App, and then Common. 
and they would go to um, um, DCS World right here, right? And then you would find a folder called Mods, and then you would find Aircraft. And over here, this is where you would post it. But people are having problems. When they do, it doesn't show anything. And the reason why, because if your C drive is your main, then that's the root of where everything should go instead of just all the games being saved here. Okay. And what I mean by that is this. So let me show you. So if, if you come back here and you go to your C drive, uh, what you want to do once you get your go to your C drive, you want to go into users and then you want to go to your name, you know, whatever your name is, your name, you know, could be Rick, it could be, you know, whatever. Then go to save games and then you go to DCS world. Now, mods, uh, when I went here at first, it wasn't there. So what, what I did is I, I would uh, right click. Then I would create a new folder and I'll just type in mod and it has to be spelled out exactly like this to have it work. So capital M, everything else is lowercase O D S. That's it. I'm not going to hit enter or anything like that on this. I'm just going to delete this folder because I already created it now. So, so once you, uh, uh, but before you do that, you want to go back. So let me show you here, guys. So I would go back to my download file, and, and, and as you can see here, guys, I already downloaded this. Um, so this file is a zip file. It's a compressed zip file. What I did is I um, unzipped it. I un uh, unzipped the file in the same area uh, where my download was at. And when you click on that, you would have community F22 mod version 2. So you click on it again, then you would have the folder F22A. And when you click on that, this is all the stuff to get you going. So all you got to do is uh, right click on that and copy it. And then you want to come in here to your C drive and go to user, go to save games. Mods will not be in there, but you want to type that in. Like I said before, capital M, everything else, lowercase. So once you get that in and then you want to click on it and then you got to create another folder because this folder is not going to be in there. It's called aircraft. You want to uh, do the same thing. So you want to um, just just right click um, here and new folder capital again a everything else lowercase i r craft r a f t aircraft okay I'm not gonna do anything there because I already did it and then all you gotta do is this delete that one then click on the aircraft and you just want to right click here and paste paste f 22 a and we're not going to, um, um, actually, let's just do this. What the hell? I'm going to replace the file. So we're just going to replace the file. And then once um, F22A is in there, when you go to it now and click on it, it should just show up just like that. That's how easy it is. And then you just close this out. All right, everyone. So this is how you go about um, configuring the game on Steam or, e or either Ego Dynamic. So you want to open up steam like this and then you want to find DCS world click on that and then you want to hit play I'm not going to be using the VR right now I'm just going to jump in to show you and help you guys make this thing work now as far as jumping in to fly the plane and configuring it um, it, 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 it could be different for, for for anyone that does the flight simulator because we, we all do different things but it, it, it could be different and and the reason why I say that because um, because the configuration might be different. Okay, so let me just I just gotta check something quick to make sure this thing is still recording. So once this pops up, um, you come to Mission Editor, then you go to Create New Mission. Um, I already did everything earlier, so this is just a, a rewind of what I did. So I can help some of you guys out there download the file. Um, not download the file I already talked about that but to show you how to get everything running properly so what you want to do is uh, you don't want to click anything here you want to just go down to the airplane click on that and when you come down here here let me show you guys so when you come down here this is what's going to happen to some of you guys that are complaining out there that you don't see the plane so uh, when you go to type your this is all the planes and the planes that you have would be in yellow okay so now you notice that F-18 Hortine, but you don't see anything else. You don't see the F-22 Raptor, nothing like that. The reason why, for some weird reason, if you come all the way down here, as you guys can see, all the way down here, next to the tank, there's like a little thing there. 
that's called historical list of units that looks like a clock you uncheck that guys you have to uncheck that and basically it disables that and then now when you come back to the type of plane when you scroll down you will now uh, see the f-22 okay so you will now see the f-22 so you click on the f-22 and you want to hit on skill level what I would do I'll just put it on client and then you want to click on Kabbaladi or whatever airspace or airfield you want to launch out of. Let's, but we'll do Kabbaladi. And then you want to go here to the payload. And this is the payload right here. And that's your F-22 right there. So I would pick this one right there. Actually, I'll just go with the. No, I'll just go with those guys right there. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll just go with that. And then if you can see here, guys, this is the livery of the plane. And I mean, you, you can pick the... F-22 Raptor, uh, the YF-22 when they were working on it, or the Tiger version. So you you pretty much uh, with that link I mentioned before, um, on on the, on the FS outlet on that link you will find the stuff that you need and that livery uh, and paint scheme. Once you download it, will give you all of this here to choose from, which is pretty cool. Okay, so having said that, guys, uh, so we got all this stuff going. So right now we're just going to go and do our thing. We're going to launch. Okay. So everything is right. Then we're going to go here to mission editor. Then we're going to generate or mission generator. And this is the second thing that I was talking about, guys. So just, just to let you guys know um, how to do this right, how to get this right. Okay. So I'm going to pick a wingman. I'll just pick one or how many you want. Airborne, no. I want to do... Uh, ramp from ramp or from runway okay and then i want to just go average because we're still learning leave that all the same uh season i want to go summer and i want to go clear because i want to fly in daytime change that to whatever morning time i just put 11 a.m and then this guys i would change to none and the reason why i'm doing that because you know i don't want to be fighting planes learn how to try to fly the plane and i'm getting shot at with the sam you know that's the last thing you want to do that's going to make the game harder and you're going to be trying to do multiple stuff at one time. So once this is all done, the most important part here is to go here to the left side. If you see there's A10, that's the aircraft. Go to aircraft. And you want to scroll down because whatever aircraft you have set up here and generate, it's going to launch that aircraft. But by default, it's on the A10A. And that's the last thing you want to do is generate and come to find out you're trying to fly an A10A Warthog. So you want to hit that button right there and scroll down to F-22, which is the plane we want to try out, and then come down here and then generate. Bam. And now the generator is ready to go, and this is all the stuff you picked, and then you just want to hit fly, and you want to hit start. And it's going to do its thing. Um, once once everything starts going, uh, you will see for yourself. Um, so, so everything is loading up properly. And it's going pretty quick, which is a good thing, right? And then um, we're going to go see the plane, and there it is. That is the F-22 Raptor. Okay. So, guys, so this is how it looks like. I'm going to scroll down on the cockpit because we're already on the runway. Everything is there. And I'm going to show you the outside right now, and I believe I have a wingman. And let's check out our wingman. Check out how that plane looks. Sorry for this. It sounds pretty loud. Throw it out a little bit so you guys can get a better look at, at the plane. And that's how they live. Turn this thing down because it is pretty loud. I have it on the surround sound. And check out how the plane look, guys. It's just amazing, right? It's, it's, it's mind blowing. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go off for a takeoff so we can see how this thing looks, okay? Are you guys ready? Alright, we're just going to start from back here so we can get a good glimpse of how it really looks. But this is the cockpit, guys, so I can just show you guys once again. Look at the cockpit. That is so nice. That is so amazing. So we're going to take this bad boy for a flight. And um, um, all these buttons, they do work. Uh, so, well, well, most of them do work. But it's just amazing. Uh, I haven't got to this part. I haven't got to the part to even configure this to fly. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial of how to set up the, the F-22A. Um, uh, mod 2 and um, you know if you guys like content like this go ahead and hit that like button if you guys have any comments or any questions go ahead and drop it down below I'll try to get back to you guys ASAP 
And if you guys are new to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that uh, subscribe button. That would definitely help me out to continue to make videos like this. And just before I wrap this up, I just want to see uh, if you guys want me to make another video, drop your comments down below. Let me know and I'll go make a tutorial of how to configure your F-22 Raptor to have it fly like the other planes that we are used to, like the F-15C and the F-18 Hornet. Um, so if you guys want me to do that, I'll definitely do that. And like always, guys, all this from Doko's Reviews. Peace.